Could we build a wooden building? Poor old wood had been downgraded to smaller buildings like homes until environmental scientists started raising their voices about something everyone was overlooking. Before we continue, please subscribe to our channel and become one of us because if not then why not and do not forget to like this video if you like it. Moving on, manufacturing steel and concrete pumps massive amounts of carbon into the atmosphere both in terms of the energy it takes to make the stuff and the CO2 that emits from chemical reactions as other materials form. Wood on the other hand actually captures carbon at least during the time when it's part of a living tree. Our planet continues to spiral into a climate catastrophe. Architects have in recent years taken notice to wood's virtues including its merit as an extra strong composite material and have been honing their skills building high rises up to 275 feet tall out of wood, leveraging innovative wooden materials. A team of environmental scientists and architects have quantified just how powerful wooden urban buildings could be in mitigating climate change. The study's authors found that if living standards continue to rise and people demand more space and we keep constructing buildings from concrete and steel, the associated emissions could reach 600 million tons a year by 2050. The more timber structures we build, the more carbon we keep seized, plus skipping the steel and concrete manufacturing keeps even more carbon out of the atmosphere. Can't talk about wood without talking about fires. So, fire can burn thinner sections of the stuff, but thick pieces of timber tend to only char, not burn to the core. Consider a log in the fireplace that doesn't have enough kindling to really catch. And architects point out any building material comes with its vulnerabilities. The more architects that explore these fancy new timber materials, the better they are getting at designing elaborate wooden structures.